The question is whether BEBR2, this is beryllium bromide, is ionic or covalent. So if we go to the periodic table, we find beryllium right here and bromine right here. We have a metal and then we have bromine, that's a nonmetal. When we have a metal and a nonmetal, we're thinking it might be an ionic compound. But beryllium right here, it's a pretty small atom. So we need to think a little bit deeper. So let's look at the electronegativity difference between beryllium and bromide. So here's our beryllium 1.57, bromine 2.96. So 2.96 minus 1.57, we get 1.39. That's the difference in electronegativity between beryllium and bromine. Let's see what that means. So 1.39, that's about right here on our scale, which would make it a covalent compound. We can also look at Fajan's rules to try to figure that out. So if we look at the positive charge, beryllium in group two, that's two plus. So we have a pretty high positive charge. If we look at the size of the beryllium ion and then the bromide ion, so the ion is this dark color here. Here's beryllium, that's really small. And then the bromine, this whole thing here, it's a pretty big anion, negative ion. So if a small cation, a large anion, small cation, large anion, that really supports the idea that BEBr2 is a covalent compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether beryllium bromide is ionic or covalent. It is a covalent compound. Thanks for watching.